Welcome back everyone to Cable 14's Generation Z. I'm your host Amanda Pope and as I said after the break we're going to be talking about right now the practice of mindfulness as an entrepreneur and if I could say one thing practicing mindfulness is probably one of the most important things you can do as a business owner because we all know the grind that an entrepreneur goes through when they're starting up their company and we know how hectic it can be and how sometimes we just forget about ourselves and taking care of ourselves. So that's why I thought it would be great to have Anthony come in today, somebody who runs two companies, so we can imagine that is very busy. So thank you so much, Anthony, for coming in today. How's it going? Great, thanks. Thanks for having me, Amanda. I'm Appreciate happy it. to have you here, and I think you are probably the single most the best person I could have to talk about this topic because you run two companies. <laughs> so honored. that's very busy, <laughs> I can imagine. So why don't you talk about One New Era and Yoga Fest? Sweet. Um, well, I'll keep it brief, but uh, to go into Yoga Fest, it's a uh, Canada-wide festival based out of uh, Burlington, Ontario. And uh, we are inspiring yoga and conscious living mindful practices through the experience. Uh, you could find all day yoga from different local studios as well as international keynotes. Uh, there's art exhibits, there's food, there's local vendors, uh, all day workshops educating people on dancing, self-love, meditation and different practices like that. And obviously an amazing community of uh, great people that attend. And then to get into One New Era, it's kind of a marketing firm. Uh, we're working a lot with local influencers and helping them uh, basically leverage their organic reach and networks to help other local businesses get their message across using people versus just you know social or uh, online promotional campaigns. Awesome, and it seems like you must be one of the world's busiest people <laughs> with running two companies. So what's your strategy? How do you balance the two? I can say, yeah, things definitely get busy, but when you look at people like Steve Jobs or uh, you know people like Mark Zuckerberg or Elon Musk, uh, I, I can imagine they're a little bit deeper in, in things, but I would say it really helps to uh, focus on things that you enjoy doing because then it doesn't seem like work. And I'm sure you've mm -hmm. heard that a lot and it's out oh, there yes. in a lot of self-help books, but pick something you're passionate about. And then every day you're waking up to like something that you're excited to play and participate in versus like a task that you feel like you're being forced to do, which kind of takes the whole inspiration out of it. Exactly. And I think that's so important. I was recently listening to a podcast and they were saying when you're doing something you love and things get busy and challenges come up, it's not a bad challenge. It's kind of like a good challenge, something that you're excited about because you know that you're doing something you love. So I know for you, you've must have you've must have had lots of challenges that have come up in the past with starting two companies, running the two companies successful and building them, right? So my question for you is when was that moment you realized that I really need to take care of myself and make sure that I'm incorporating the practice of mindfulness into the way I run my business and my daily life as an entrepreneur? Well, I wouldn't say it was a TSN turning point type thing, like, oh, everything just came to me in one moment. It was just progressively through taking consistent action and more responsibilities coming on to myself personally as the businesses were growing. Um, you start feeling slowly a little bit worn out. You're like, okay, the, the roles are increasing, the tasks are increasing, yep. and I'm trying to do more myself. Um, but yeah, slowly as time kind of continued, I started to realize like, how much time am I spending with my family, with my friends, my social life? And um, yeah, it wasn't really like an epiphany type thing. It was just progressive. And then I, before I took it too far with overworking, I realized this and started applying mm -hmm. uh, a lot of self-love into my daily practice, same way you would practice like daily hours in the workspace. Yeah, and I find if I don't incorporate that and I'm not practicing self-love, I'm not practicing mindfulness, that's when I just get into this burnout zone because I find that I'm so unbalanced. I feel that I'm just always focusing on work and the business and that's it. You don't remember that, hey, family's important. My social life and my friends, they're important, but also yourself and loving yourself and taking care of yourself, that's even more important, right? Absolutely. So what's your advice for entrepreneurs who are getting into that burnout zone? How do we avo avoid that burnout? 
Um, there's a lot of uh, different approaches, in my opinion, especially with mindfulness. Like, there's not one thing to do to be mindful. I like to, again, refer to it as self-love because it often comes down to the individual. What are things that you consider that up uplift your own vibration? If it means sitting in a corner meditating for two hours, like, absolutely all yeah. the power to you. But it could mean just dedicating that time to, like, relax on the couch if that's what it means to you and understand that you're not doing this because you have to. You're doing this because you want to. And the more that you fill your day with these loving practices that your your heart desires to me that's mindfulness yeah and I think that is so important for me too I find that sometimes I feel guilty if I'm laying on the couch because I think oh I could be doing this or I could be doing that or you're a lazy person for sitting on the couch but no you're not lazy it's taking care of yourself and I always say if you're not taking care of yourself you won't be able to take care of other people and as an entrepreneur, you want to help people. So you need to take care of yourself too. So thank you so much for coming on the show today. Your advice has been great on practicing mindfulness. And I hope that you as an entrepreneur at home will seriously take this advice about taking care of yourself. It's a new year and this year should be dedicated to you and taking care of you. So I hope that you enjoyed today's show and you learned a lot about the importance of being organized with your bookkeeping, what you need to know with this upcoming tax season, and also knowing that despite all of this hecticness and this busyness, that you need to take care of yourself. So thanks for joining us today and we hope you have a great day. Thanks. <laughs>